How's it going everybody? Coach Matt coming at you with another video. Now, here is one reason why we have spring training. Sack fly. Yeah, it's about it. Fisher is at the shore left field. Little trouble and oh my goodness, Jose Iglesias. Is that unreal? Just the that is unbelievable. <laughs> and here is another reason why we have spring training. Swing at a high fly ball. He should be out. Here comes Aloy coming in. Don't collide. They do. I think Aloy. Welcome back to the Daily Baseball Report. Coach Matt coming at you with another video where all we do is talk baseball news and all things baseball, anything related to baseball. And we are on the way to 1K by opening day. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So I am wearing a Chicago White Sox hat. It's kind of a specialty hat. It has the, the, the logo right here. It's actually pretty cool. It is an all black, kind of my style too. I got this hat on my birthday when I went to the, the stadium. I'm wearing this hat because of what you saw in the intro. I thought that seeing that warranted me to wear the Chicago White Sox hat. To start things off, the other day, I was talking about Bobby Witt Jr. You can find that video there. He hit a bomb. Just a blast. This guy hit a home run that went 483 feet. So here we go. I'm going to play it for you. I want you to hear the sound off the bat. It's so, it's just one of the best sounds on the planet. Next offering is swung on, hit high in the air, deep to left. That's a way back and that's a Bobby Witt home run. Also hitting home runs in that game was Salvador Perez, Carlos Santana, and the recently re-signed Hunter Dozier. Although, Hunter Dozier is only hitting 100, which does raise a couple of flags. A guy that just made a bunch of money is hitting 100. That is just mm, not, not a good sign, not so far. On the other side of the ball, my man crush, Buddy Reed, is hitting 200. So I don't know if I can continue to have him as my man crush. Moving on over to the Cleveland Indians game, Andres Jimenez had a Little League home run today with the Cleveland Indians. It's one of those things that it's really fun to see in the major leagues because we just don't see it. A, the players are just really good. B, the, the speed, like there's always someone that seems to be in the way whenever, you know, there's always like that, you know, like Albert Pujols is always like on second base and Joe Adele hits a ball down the line. Joe Adele's rounding second and Pujols is just getting to third base. Like it's like one of those situations where he just gets screwed. Obviously, this is kind of interesting because the center fielder, it, it looks like he caught the ball. He raised his hand up as if he did waiting for an umpire call and the umpire didn't call anything. And so he all of a sudden had to throw it in. So really fun to kind of see something like this in spring training. Zach Plesak pitched for the Indians today and he had a three inning outing. He gave up two hits, two walks. He had four strikeouts and his ERA is now at 5.4. Moving on over to the San Francisco Giants. Evan Longoria hit a home run today. It's his first home run this spring. The Giants are really going to need him to be a productive hitter. A circa 2011 Evan Longoria when he was one of the most feared hitters in the American League. Javi Baez of the Chicago Cubs went two for three with a home run. And this home run, I don't know how far it went, but it was a long drive. Jock Peterson had a productive day at the plate as well. He went two for two with a walk, one run, two RBIs, and he is currently hitting 364. Zach Davies pitched for the Chicago Cubs and his day was actually really good. He had three innings pitched, one walk, and is a zero ERA. No strikeouts though. He was a guy with the Padres who would just left and right just 88 90 if i remember correctly david price made his debut for the los angeles dodgers today it was his first time pitching in over 18 months as he sat out 
all of the 2020 season. David Price pitched one inning and his ERA is at 0.0. Corey Seager continues his World Series MVP style of play where he is currently hitting 385. He hit a really long home run. He went two for three with two runs scored, three RBIs, and of course the home run. Kyle Freeland of the Colorado Rockies had a really solid outing today. He pitched three innings, gave up two hits, one walk. He had two strikeouts, and his ERA currently sits at zero. I feel like the Rockies pitchers always do well outside of Colorado. You know, it's the, the Colorado effect is real for the hitters and real for the pitchers. Definitely pitching in Colorado is probably, I don't have anything I'd really compare that to. Maybe a quarterback for a New York Jets organization. Like that's that's what it's like. If you you wanna if you wanna have a career in the NFL, you shouldn't get drafted by the Jets. And the same goes as a pitcher for the Colorado Rockies. You shouldn't want to be drafted by the Colorado Rockies. Speaking of hitters for the Colorado Rockies, Jamison Hanna came up to hit, and I want you to take a look at his batting stance. In the comments section below, who do you think he has a stance similar to? I'm gonna give the answer at the end of the video. Going back to that first play that we saw in this video, which was the Angels having this insane double play. The Angels also had five home runs to have a big comeback victory against the Milwaukee Brewers. Part of me thinks that there's people out there doing this. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Angels in the outfield? Upton had two home runs and Rendon had a home run. There's a few others, but of all things, seems like the Angels are starting to click. Well, that does it for today's video. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. P.S. Remember, I'm going to go live for my first ever live stream on YouTube Sunday, March 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would love for all of you to get on and join, have this really great discussion about baseball, all things baseball. Remember Jameis and Hannah a little earlier in the video and I asked you all to comment below who you think his batting stance was like? Here is who I think his batting stance is like. On that slightly open stance, feet fairly close together, crowding the plate. The pitch, there's a long one to right field. Forget about it. This one is headed for New Jersey. Hot.